All right, greetings and salutations. My name is Comic Fire, and please don't start loading the states. Cool. <coughs> All right, welcome back for more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. And we open up with another earthquake. I got us the silver rank off screen. That didn't have any uh, I did that uh, an in-game day before this event occurred though. Hey! So says Lumbre. We need you at the square. Other rescue teams, this could mean trouble. Whoa, there's some pretty high end Pokemon there. Like a Meganium. And a Raichu, even. <laughs> There's big trouble! Alakazim's team went underground. Alakazim? But they haven't returned! Alakazam led his team underground to quell Groudon. And that's it, we haven't heard anything from him. To be honest, we have no idea what became of them. Quiet, please. Everyone be quiet. There's no denying that it's dangerous underground. It's not a place where just anyone can go. That's why I asked so many rescue teams to gather today. I propose that a special team be formed by choosing the best of the best. Who will step forward? Who among us will be the heroes to take on the challenges underground? I'll go. It's Blastoise! Team Hydro's Roughneck Blastoise. Those water spouts on his back and rocket water so fast that it punches through thick iron plates. Jeez, oh gee. Hmm, never mind, there goes the tentacle joke I was going to make. Darlings, when I see a tough Pokemon, I want to tangle with them. He's the most brutal out of Team Rumble Rock. His body's rock hard. He's supposed to be able to withstand huge explosions without taking damage. If Groudon's awakened underground, that suits me fine. I'll use my rock throw to keep it buried underground. I hate this portion of the game, because they never let you go straight to the Magma Cavern, they make you do a bunch of preliminary bolt stuff. I wish we could have gone too, but there's nothing we can do about that. Blastoise's team can take care of things underground. We'll keep doing the best we can in our rescue work. Alright, so off screen, I think if I go through three days of rescue missions, that should be enough to, uh... Stop the, stop the plot going again, so I'll be right back. And we're back. The next morning. It took about eight minutes off... Eight, uh, no, about seven minutes off screen. Another earthquake. Does that mean... Team Supergroup, as I'm so dubbing them, failed? I guess Supergroup, because, you know, like a supergroup in music is a bunch of bands, like, collaborating... Got a bunch of the greatest team members going for it. Figure why I'm not even gonna say it. They didn't have an official. Oh god. At least they came back. It's rough. Seriously, we couldn't get it far enough to even see Groudon. Oh god, what do you want? What fools, that's what you got for trying to pop. I come up with a new voice for everyone every time. <laughs> you really, like, find thinking hard, don't you? 
Even they look smart compared to you. We just can't give up. That's why we're going to send two completely unevolved Pokémon in there to do it. Erdrick, I don't know anymore. What should we do? Even if it's the impossible, should we still try to rescue Alakazam? Alright! Listen up, everybody! We're going to rescue Alakazam's team. Team Rattlehead. But, we're still a rescue team, and that's why we're going to try it. You really aren't very bright, are you? Why don't you do like everyone else and wise up? Good? Angar, you're such a jerk. You want everyone to feel bad. Not even going to worry about it this time. Yes, no more wallowing in the world was me, self pity. Well, go away, I get it. Thank you. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, I'm gonna name him Popeye. That's why we're going in. Tomorrow. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> right now we're going to spend time setting up our items, because this is the first dungeon where we're really going to need to care about our item placement. This is going to be the longest dungeon yet. So, let's store a bunch of junk. Store all the items! And we'll just throw away that used TM. It's useless anyway. Okay! I meant to take, you idiot. Okay, so, well, we're already holding a special band. I'm gonna take my 54 iron thorns. Eh, maybe not that many. We're going to need all these reviver seeds. I'd like if. Maybe not that many more iron seeds. We are going to want. Did it only take one of them out? Can I only take him out one at a time? Alright, I'll just do this off screen. Okay, now we're all set and ready to go. Got all of our reviver seeds, got a few max elixirs, a stamina band, a few apples, and a few gummies. That should be enough to get us through the dungeon. If I'm not mistaken, there are only two dungeons left in the game. Alright. Okay, okay, okay. Here comes the very, very difficult dungeon. I'm in that dream again. Card of War. 
It's tomorrow, isn't it? I'll take you down that underground dungeon. You'll be fine. I'm certain you'll succeed. You have my support. It's coming to its end, little by little. Au revoir. Yeah, this actually probably is the penultimate dungeon. <sighs> so, uh, let's go into it. This will be kind of a long episode. Okay! The Magma Cavern! I, it took me a very long time to beat this when I first played this game. It's probably the hardest dungeon in the game. Especially when you're under-leveled, which I think I am. Alright. There is a midway point, and the second half, and the, uh, after the midway point, there's only, uh, one floor of actual fighting. Before that? <laughs> um, my friends, we are looking at 26 floors. 26 floors of this. Come on, emulator, do not lag on me. This is not the dungeon for lagging. This is the dungeon where I first realized how great, uh... These iron thorns are. Oh, by the way, I got rid of Hidden Power, and, uh, taught Erdrick Dig. Figured it'd come in useful. It does in the second one, for sure, for the, uh, final boss, and we've got, uh... A Cyndaquil. And here's an upgrade to the, uh, Iron Spikes, the, I mean, the Iron Thorns. Silver Spikes. There's a lot of them lying around. Ooh, a red gummy. Use that to keep our belly full. We got a new IQ skill, but it's kind of useless for player characters. It's an AI-type skill. For, uh, traps, which we haven't gotten too much into yet. Oh, by the way! This is the first dungeon that we can get into an area called the Monster House. A Monster House is an area where tons of Pokemon just pour in. If you can see an abundance, like if you have an item called the X-Ray Specs, which I never found, sadly, you'll see that sometimes there are like a group, like a bunch of items in one room. That's usually the surefire sign that a monster house is coming. Well, what do you know? It did come kind of useful. It's a two-turn move, you see. In fact, I think uh, Ice Beam can hit over me. Well, if it can, it didn't. Well, he didn't try it. Damn it! Can't waste time here. Yeah, I brought a few max elixirs in case. Because this is going to be a major endurance test. Two can play into this game! Damn it. Okay. Yay. I don't know if you can bring other party members in here. No, it's the final dungeon where you can't bring extra party members in here. Oh well. None of my ex none of my other party members are up to Erdrick and Nikolai's level, except for me except for Cuddle. So I don't I don't want them wasting all my reviver seeds. We had gone pretty far with that uh not a major hitch. Stream of good luck. <laughs> Don't waste it. Okay, when they're frozen, you can't hit them except for fire moves. Now, 
wasn't sure if he had flash fire. Crap! Yeah, they're self-destruct. It even destroys a bit of the uh, dungeon. So if you need to clear, uh, in later dungeons, like post-game dungeons, there's stuff hidden inside the walls. So if you blow it up with self-destruct, like if you have a bunch of Oran berries or just a lot of HP. Here we go. Floors are going to get tougher from here on out. I think out crap. Oh, it's got that shed skin ability. Where it almost instantly heals from my uh, status effects. This is where the dungeon's going to get a little bit tougher. Understatement of the century? No. It gets even tougher. Right now, we have to pray that, uh, our luck holds out. After a bunch of floras, it tends not to. Uh, Torment, it makes it so they can't use the same move twice. Ugh, not terribly useful. There are better status moves. Oh, crap, a Mawile. And you can handle it. Oh, who leveled up? Nikolai did in Sweden. Good level up, even on all stats, and not being like just getting one. That's that's cool. Oh, there would be a. Uh, you gotta be trolling, son. Damn it, I missed. Could I even consider that a miss? That was just a crap. That's a miss. I I can safely say, before recording that episode 13 earlier today, I had never seen a. Pokemon being frozen in this game. And now, like, almost every other Pokemon has been frozen ever since he's been using Ice Beam. Oh, yeah. Alright. Only 16 more floors. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, eat some chicken strips. Like a boss. I wonder why Typhlosion learned... Oh, yay. Why Typhlosion learned, uh... How long have I had that red gummy? Typhlosion learned Flamethrower so late in uh, Generation 2. I mean, why level 60? I mean, they fixed that and crap, I'm already out of those, so you gotta be joking me. I don't know. It kinda strikes me as odd. Almost halfway there! Well, we haven't ran into any major snags, so I'm gonna consider this a pretty good trip so far. Uh, return does more damage the higher your IQ is, which at this point of the game is an unrealistic goal. In fact, I had a return to him earlier and gave it to Airdrick, and he was only doing like 15 damage. Kinda useless. Damn! Fortunately, you're like, if uh, you are pretty weak in here, like, if you're pretty low leveled at this point of the game, just come in with no items or items that you're willing to lose, and just try to get as far as you can constantly. You may surprise yourself and get to the end, or you'll just keep, uh, you know, dying over and over, but at least you're getting experience from defeating other Pokemon. Uh, now, Taunt makes it so the opposing Pokémon can only attack. Not majorly useful, except unless you're in competitive battling, which then it's pretty useful like, against uh, like Pokémon who don't actually have attacking moves, like they're only there to set up. Like, then it's very useful, but uh, in this game, no, not so much. Non-sleeper ability! Yes! Uh, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you don't sleep. Which is just stupidly good. Oh, I forgot to go get that silver gummy. Oh, well. 
Ah, crap, they're everywhere. Alright, that was useful. That card goes defeated. Wasting a nice beam, but I'm not too sad about that. Okay. Well. Oh, oh shit! Not what I meant to do. Dig. Oh, damn. <laughs> Pardon me, I'm just gonna go hide underground and let Nikolai do all the work. Damn, that was a lot of exchange. Speaking of which, I forgot I actually... I forgot it. I haven't had Water Gun turned on in a while. He could use a... Shit. Shit, okay. Didn't do anywhere nearly enough damage for me to be scared. Did I see Gold Ribbon? Wait, was Gold Ribbon useful? I forget. I think you could just sell it for a lot of money. And I'm close to using that Max Elixir now. I'm starting to run out of digs. God damn! Yeah, this is gonna be a long episode, sorry guys. Poor... Timing on my part. Did you really run out of ice beams? So stop using it! Damn! Should have brought more max elixirs. Okay, well, consume. It's more important for me. Now the scope lens makes it so you can get more critical hits, which I'm probably right about to toss onto uh make a lie. Fuck! Can I force you to ingest it? Cool. Nikolai, I was kinda hoping you would use, a uh, Ice Beam. See, when you have a Cyndaquil in a Mystery Dungeon 2, Mystery Dungeons become, a, uh, I mean, not Mystery Dungeon, Monster Houses become really easy to handle. Damn it! Oh, how am I going to survive this? Because, uh, you... You get a move called, uh, Lava Plume, which hits everyone around you. But how is Nikolai going- I mean, how is Eric and Nikolai going to survive this? Find out next time on Pokemon Mystery Dungeon! See you guys next time! A cliffhanger inside of a dungeon? You crazy bastard, I know.